Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today we're gonna be doing Pinterest outfits which are like winter inspired. Uh, just to give you a bit of inspiration about what to wear in these coming weeks before Christmas because I'm gonna be doing like a Christmas inspired one too. So it's more like, you could probably carry these on, you know, past Christmas to January and stuff. But I am gonna be doing more of a Christmassy special in like maybe a week or so. So hang on for that if you're interested. So I'm gonna be taking these photos on, but I'm gonna be doing it with what I already have in my wardrobe. So it might be that I'm modifying looks slightly. Like for this first reference photo, I don't have a jumper that's this light. So what I'm gonna be doing is switching out the lighter top and bottoms and like basically reversing them. So I've got lighter jeans that I'm gonna wear with a darker blue jumper. So I'm gonna pop those on now. So as far as I can tell, she hasn't got a t-shirt layered underneath, which is why I've gone ahead and taken my one off. Um, but she does have a blazer between her jumper and her trench coat, which is gonna be a bit hot inside, but I'm gonna pop it on now. Actually, you know what, before I get into like loads of layers that make it really restricting, I'm gonna do my hair in a similar fashion. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so I've gone ahead and recreated that top knot ponytail she's got, um, which I'm pretty happy with. So for the blazer, I only have a hound's tooth one where she seems to have like a dark brown, but we're working with what we have. And then I can't really work out if she's done like the button up or not, but I'm gonna see how it looks with the button done up because I do want you to be able to see the layer. Um, so then I have my trench coat, which I'll pop on. Okay, I decided I didn't like it up together, but I do kind of like this layering over and I might just pull it in front as well so you can really see the layers here because I do really like this. Um, and then the main difference I have is that I don't have any brown boots, which is gonna come in a little bit of a problem for this whole video because I have another one with brown boots, but I have black ones, so that's what we're gonna use. Okay, so we've got our boots on. I'm not sure really how they look with the rest of the outfit. I don't even know if you can see them with the way I've got this angled, but I've got them on. And then last finishing touch here is a red bag, which is actually really similar to hers. So I'm pretty happy with that and sunnies. Okay, this is my final look for this outfit, side by side with the other one. What do you think? I think it's a fit, you know? I do kind of like these two like layers here. I wouldn't have put them together, but I do really like them. Um, I think I need some brown boots. I don't know. I don't know if I'd actually wear them, but for this outfit, I do think brown boots would look better. Um, but is that worth buying brown boots? No. Um, yeah, on to the next outfit. This next one's quite like laid back, but I really, really like it. I can definitely see myself wearing something similar. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on the basics and then we'll layer together. Okay, so this is my base. Um, obviously I've got a printed logo t-shirt on, which doesn't look great but it's just gonna be a layer. You're not actually gonna be able to see it. So we're gonna allow it. And then, yeah, we can just start building. So gray jumper first. Okay, so we've got the first kind of layers in. Um, I've tucked up one side just to make the silhouette a bit nicer. But I think what I'll do next is hair, like I said, cause I don't wanna be, you know, weighed down by layers when I do that. So let me do that. Okay, so I've gone ahead and done my hair like this. Um, it's a bit of a challenge cause I'm not using any product cause the next couple of ones have their hair down. So I don't wanna like have greasy hair for that. So um, I've done my best. <laughs> um, and I've actually gone ahead and rolled down my turtleneck. So it's a bit more of a mock neck uh, to kind of suit hers a bit more. And then what's next? Uh, her shoes, boots, I'll pop my boots on. Okay, boots on. Um, I think this look is so cute to be honest, but let's do the final touches, which is a bag and sunnies as per. So I've taken the strap off my bag cause hers is just a purse rather than like a crossbody, that's the word. And sunnies. I think this looks really cute. What do you guys think? I think this is a, a fit for the second one. Um, so comfy, so I can definitely see myself wearing this. Maybe with tights, because right now I'm bare-legged, um, which wouldn't be okay for winter. But, what do you think? Second one, pass or fail? I need to find some way of like keeping the bottom up so you can see the bottom layer, that kind of works. Um, 
yeah, pass or fail, what do you think? Okie dokie, on to the third one. Um, I'm only doing four, so this is the second to last. And for this one, I'm definitely gonna use some creative license because I do not have like any of the pieces that work in this wardrobe, but I kind of want to just like take inspiration from it um, and do it in my own way. So we're gonna see how that goes. So first off, I'm gonna pop on my dress. Okay, so I've got my Garni dress on. And if you are a subscriber to this channel, you know that I love this dress. I literally get it out any chance I can, including winter, even though it's obviously a summer dress. So I'm gonna try winterfy it. This is my base. Um, in the way that she, hers is like checkered, mine is tartan. So I think it's the same kind of like, you know, premise of a patterned base in like quite neutral coloring. I think hers is black and white. Mine is like a green with bluey black checks. I'm not, I think you could go either way on it to be honest. Um, but I'm gonna lean towards the blue because I'm gonna pop my blue jumper on now. Yeah, okay. So I think these look really cute together to be honest. Um, if I were wearing it on my own, I would definitely have a white layer underneath just to break it up. But it doesn't look like she's done that. So we're gonna stay true to this picture. Um, and I'm gonna put my trench coat on next. Okay, so I've just gone on ahead slightly and changed the length of the jumper here. Cause I feel like it was sitting like about here and it was a weird hemline. But I feel like here where it's just sitting on my hips is much better for the look. Um, I wanna make sure you can see this poking out, my sleeves poking out. So what I'm gonna do is roll them back slightly. I can't see really if she's done this, but I think she's got a much more woolen coat on than me. Um, so what I do have is I have this color, which is maybe a bit more tonally matching than hers, but then I also have more of a woolly coat. So I might see how both of them work and whether I like one more than the other, but we're gonna go with this one first. Um, so I guess next is her trainers, which I've got, you know, a pair of dad trainers. Just a pair of pink ones, but I feel like they're in the same kind of style as her bright yellow socks. I don't really have anything to emulate that, but I do have bright pink trainers, so I'll pop them on. This feels like very Copenhagen style to me, like very, you know, Danish, kind of eclectic, which is cool. Um, I would definitely, definitely be wearing tights if I were to go out in this but I need to do kind of the finishing touches. So she's got some kind of like hoodie slash scarf around her neck to keep her warm. I don't really have anything like that, but I can do the same with a scarf. So I have this one, which I think is gonna look horrendous with this trench coat. So I might not do it with this one, um, but I'm gonna do it with the white coat instead. So we're just gonna pretend <laughs> that, I mean, we're just gonna take away the scarf from this version of the outfit gonna have a bucket bag like she's got i've got my like white shilling one um yeah and this is this is the outfit i think it's kind of cute i don't i think it's a bit eclectic for me um i really like the base but i'm not sure on the trench coat and the shilling all together i don't know you know i do kind of like it kind of like does speak to me a little bit um but I think I'll like it better with the white coat. So I'm gonna try that now. Okay, so obviously changed my base into a more woolly coat, which is more in line with the texture she's got in her photo. Um, and I think the scarf is gonna work better with this color palette. So I'm gonna tuck that in now. Okay, again, I'm gonna take some creative license here because I'm not a massive fan of this coat with scarves and I'm not a massive fan of this scarf. Um, so what I've done is just tucked it underneath the lapels so it looks a little bit less in your face because the coat is so like big and oversized that any scarf looks absolutely massive on your neck. Um, so yeah, we've got our bucket bag, we've got our scarf that she's done in a different way to me but you know, the concept is still there. Um, and I have to say, I think I preferred the trench coat without the scarf look but I'd be interested to hear your thoughts and whether you think I've hit the mark on this uh, picture or not I'm not sure but you know we're working with what we have so I feel like you know the base is very close um but it's the overcoats which are putting me down I don't know but we're going to do our final photo now um 
which is very like tonal I think is really cute so I'm gonna get changed into it and then we'll go from there okay I've gone ahead and changed into really neutral bases I've got cream corduroy trousers on which will definitely keep me warm in winter and then although you can't see her under layer I've just gone cream again um just kind of keep the spirit of the outfit I guess <laughs> um and also in case anything peeks out you know it will be the same color palette you won't be able to notice and then I have my cream puffer jacket which I'm going to pop on which is you know significantly bigger than hers <laughs> um it's literally too big I bought it oversized but I made a mistake <laughs> I mean, if we're keeping to the sake of this photo, then I'll keep it on, but I kind of want to try it with a belt at the end. So we're going to try that. But she has got white boots on. As I've mentioned, I only have black boots, so I'm going to pop them on. But it's still in her color palette, so. Okay, she then also has a cream beanie on and a black um, bag, which I'm going to pop on. <laughs> I feel so done up it's not even funny um i've got my black uh boots on um <laughs> yeah hers is really cute and mine just feels like really frumpy um and i'm also so hot <laughs> i mean i can see if you're in norway or wherever she is where she's got loads and loads of snow that this would be an okay outfit but i am boiling i'm roasting in my house so yeah <laughs> I mean in terms of I think the color itself like the all white outfit is really cute um but I think my puffer jacket may be slightly too big for this look um I feel really frumpy however there is part of me that really really loves it so I don't know let's try it with the belt like I was mentioning because I've seen a reference photo of someone tying a belt around their puffer jacket and it looks really cute so I'm going to try that real quick Okay, you know what? Part of me does not think this looks bad. <laughs> Another part of me is like, girl, what? But part of me is like, ooh, high fashion. You know, she's got a belt on over a puffer jacket. Who is she? Um, I don't know which part of me is gonna win out. If you see this fit on Instagram, I have made my call. But right now I'm like, <sighs> I don't know. I think this might have to be, you know, a comment section one. Um, because either I am crazy or I'm stepping out in a puffer jacket like this. <laughs> maybe not in this exact outfit, but like maybe with tighter fitting jeans so you can really tell the difference. Because maybe that's the issue. These are so wide. I don't know. But I am roasting. So I'm going to have to say goodbye. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you if you made it this far. And thank you for clicking on my video of all the videos. See you soon. Bye.